This demonstration video includes multiple different examples of barcoding functionality that can be achieved in Salesforce with Gimbal Barcode. In this example, we'll be scanning barcodes that identify products in order to add products to opportunities. I'm on an opportunity record, and I'm going to click the Scan Products button in order to launch a Lightning component. And I'm going to proceed to scan three barcodes, one after another, in order to add those products to this opportunity. Notice that as I added the products using the Lightning component, they also added to the related list behind the modal dialog. The same functionality is available on the mobile device. I'm on this same opportunity, and I'm going to click the Scan Products quick action. That's going to launch the same Lightning component and I'm going to scan three new barcodes in order to add those products to this opportunity as well. There's one, and two, and three, so that there are now six products on this opportunity. In this example, we'll be scanning barcodes that are asset serial numbers in order to receive assets into a location. I'm going to start by scanning the barcode of the location, which is van number two. And now I'm going to scan some barcodes for some existing assets. Each time I scan the barcode of an existing asset, the asset is updated to the new location. If I scan a barcode for an asset that does not yet exist, I'm prompted to specify additional details about the asset, such as what type of asset it is, prior to moving the asset to that location. The same functionality is available in the mobile device. In the mobile device, I also have a button for launching the camera. I'm going to start by scanning a barcode that corresponds to a location. And then I can scan the barcode of an asset in order to move that asset to that location. Let's move another one. So I've moved two assets to this location. Now if I scan a barcode for an asset that does not yet exist, just like in the desktop, I'll be prompted to specify what type of asset it is before saving it to that location. A common use case for Gimbal Barcode is scanning a barcode that uniquely identifies a record in order to view that record. Examples include scanning a barcode that's on a repair ticket in order to navigate to a work order, or scanning a barcode that's on a membership card in order to navigate to a contact record. In this example, I'm going to be scanning a barcode that is a case number in order to redirect to the detail page for that case. I'm going to scan the barcode for case 1008 and we see that we are taken directly to the detail page for case 1008. Let's do that again. I'm going to scan the barcode for case 1009, and I'm taken directly to the detail page for case 1009. The same functionality is available in the mobile device. I'm going to click the tab for scan to view case. The camera of my mobile device will launch. I'm going to scan the barcode for case 1008, and I'll be taken directly to the detail page for case 1008. GS1 is the name of a standard that is becoming increasingly popular in multiple industries, such as medical devices, food packaging, and defense. The GS1 standard allows multiple different pieces of information to be stored as data within the barcode. Gimbal Barcode has the ability to parse the data in a GS1 barcode and then use that data to find, update, or create records in Salesforce. Here I've generated a test page with GS1 barcodes, both as linear 1D barcodes and also as a 2D data matrix. I've printed out this sheet and I have it sitting on my desk. I'm going to be scanning this barcode, parsing out the information that it contains, and using that to insert a new custom object record in Salesforce. So I'm here on the detail page of a custom object named GS1 order. I'm going to click the scan items 
button in order to launch a uh, lightning component. I'll scan a GS1 barcode. We see the information was parsed out. The GTIN was used to look up a product in Salesforce. Um, often there is additional information that the user may want to add to a record above and beyond what was parsed out of the GS1 barcode. And so these fields demonstrate that functionality as well. And I'm going to save that new record. Let me do that one more time and click Save. So I've now created two new order lines under this order using the information that I parsed out of GS1 barcodes. The same functionality is available on the mobile device. I'm going to go to that order on the mobile device. And we see we have the same lightning component available as a quick action. I click the scan items quick action. There are the two records that have already been created, 23 and 24. And I'm going to click the barcode scan button in order to create a third record. This one is being created by scanning the uh, data matrix barcode. And I'm also going to scan one by scanning the uh, uh, 1D GS1 barcode. The American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators publishes a standard for storing data in the PDF 417 barcode that appears on the backside of most state driver licenses in the United States. A common use of gimbal barcode is to scan the barcode on a prospect's driver's license in order to create a new lead in Salesforce. I've generated some uh, randomly named driver license barcodes. You can see it has each barcode contains a driver license number, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip. There's also some other information contained in the barcode, as we'll see in a moment, but this is the information that I've chosen to print on the document. I've printed that uh, piece of paper out and I have it sitting on my desk in front of me. It's functionally identical to the barcodes that appear on the backside of a driver license. I'm going to scan the barcode for Simona Maraska. And we see that her first name and last name was parsed out, her address, city, postal code, state, and country. Um, most driver licenses do not have phone numbers and email addresses um, in the barcode. And so I've added fields to this page so that the user can enter them. And we see that after clicking save, the new lead was created in Salesforce. And if I uncollapse the um, DLID elements, I see that there are other pieces of information that I could have extracted and placed in fields in the, in the lead object uh, that I chose instead to just store in a description field on the lead, such as the height, the eye color, etc. Let's do that again for uh, uh, Art Veneer. We see that his name and address were parsed out. I'm going to enter an email. And there's my new lead record. Now the same functionality is available on the mobile device. And we see Leota Dilliard's um, information has been parsed out and I'm going to um, create that new lead. A popular use case for barcode scanning is tracking time entry and entry exit of employees, students, or program participants. Individuals can be given a badge or a key tag that has a barcode on it, and the barcode can be used to uniquely identify the individual for the purpose of time tracking. In this demonstration, the user will scan their barcode badge and then select the activity that they are performing in order to quickly and accurately create a time entry in Salesforce. I'm on a time entry tab and I'm going to scan Andy Young's uh, barcode badge. And we see that um, Andy was identified. We see the history of Andy's recent entries and I'm going to click a button to create a new time entry for Andy. I select the category of work that he was doing, potentially also add a comment and click save. The next time that Andy enters a time entry, the end time will automatically be set for the prior time entry, but I can also end it immediately by clicking the 
and now button and I can edit it to add a comment. Gimbal barcode can be used to generate barcode labels and barcode documents for any standard or custom object. Barcode labels can be generated as one or more sheets of labels where each sheet contains multiple labels. Barcode labels can also be generated as discrete labels to be printed using a dedicated label printer. Here I am on a list view of products. I'm going to select multiple products and then click a button on that list view in order to generate a matrix sheet of barcode labels for the selected products and then click the print icon in order to send the document to a printer. Using a different button on the same list view, I can instead generate discrete labels that can be sent to a discrete label printer. Some use cases call for the generation of a custom document that includes a barcode. For example, on an opportunity, I can put a print packing slip button that causes a packing slip to be generated, which I can then print or send by email. Gimbal barcode can also be used to generate 2D barcodes, such as QR codes and GS1 data matrices. The demonstrations included in this video are examples of functionality that can be achieved with Gimbal barcode. For assistance designing and implementation of barcode functionality for your organization, please get in touch with us.